Does your camper have wood paneling on your cabinets and stuff that's falling apart and the paper's coming off? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to repair it. Hi, this is Ross with DIY on our house, and we're back in the camper again today. Um, we've had a little bit of water damage in our uh, camper towards the floor in the bathroom. The cabinets are constructed of particle board on the trim, and then a uh, paper is covering it, and it's all swelled, and the paper is disconnected from the trim work. I'm going to show you how to remove it, take it off, rebuild it, and then reattach it. So in our bathroom, right at the floor in our RV, you can see that the, uh, the, the wood trim has gotten wet and the uh, particle board swelled up and with that, the, uh, the paper that uh, is attached to it for the, uh, the wood look has also detached. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the, the wood pieces down low. I'm going to rebuild them, reattach contact paper that is um, a, a really good match to what is existing. We couldn't find an exact match. I talked to an RV person at a shop. They said it's really hard to try to match it because it whatever they had at the point is what they stuck on. So we've got a, a, a golden oak look, which we'll be uh, reapplying. Since there's not enough room for you and me in the bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and remove the pieces. It is doable with a painter's tool and then an oscillating tool with a flat blade. And with the flat blade, I'll just go ahead and cut at a certain point and then I'll take off the, uh, the swalled up paneling. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll show you what I did and then I'll get back at you. Um, I was able to get you in here. So we're both in here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my oscillating tool and I'm gonna cut right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to act, you know, I don't want to put a splice in the center here. Um, with the different colored contact paper, this joint, if I do it right here, it should be a lot less noticeable. Um, so that's the reason I'm going to just take it from here, remove that to the ground, and then rebuild that. All right, so I'm gonna get my tape, painter's tool, and my hammer. I'm just gonna start working on the seam, on the exterior seam here, and trying to uh, get that disconnected. It is all stapled from the back side. They, uh, when they do that, yeah, they don't screw it, they staple it. So it makes it a little more difficult. And you don't want to pry a lot because the only thing holding this is a three quarter by three quarter inch piece of little trim wood back here that it's stapled to. So we'll just start edging that out. Once they snap off, they're going to leave a little piece out. So what you can do is take your hammer, just mash that down to where you can't feel them anymore. All right, um, I've got the this bottom piece on the uh, opposite wall of the of the vanity that I'm taking off as well. Um, I did discover a little trick. What you need to do is um, instead of trying to bring off the whole piece. Just go ahead and, and split it in two. That can be achieved by your painter's tool or a knife or whatever. As you can see, I've removed all the pieces down here, going up the vanity to the uh, cutoff point, the base here on the vanity, and then coming back up to the cutoff point. And uh, on the opposite wall here is the uh, pump system. Um, and that's where I had my leak at. And that's why I end up destroying all the, uh, the trim. So I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and get all the staples removed. And then we'll go to the next step. Okay, I've got a couple of the pieces cut here and I'll show you how to put on the paper. Um, I am using particle board. D oh, we did find, I tried to use uh, just standard pine. Well, I tried to put the uh, 
contact paper on, it wouldn't stick because of the grain. So what we're gonna do is we've got our contact paper. I ordered this off Amazon and we'll have the link to it down below. So let's go ahead and take our board. We'll spread out our contact paper. And when uh, what we're going to looking for is to be able to fold it and just come over the edge here. We'll take our little exacto knife here. Okay, there we have it. Now this does have wrinkles in it. You can see where they are. Um, that's just because of the uh, the way it came on the roll. A uh, little disappointing, but it is what it is. So next thing we're gonna do is take our backing piece off. And it is super sticky. Okay, now I'm gonna take the piece of wood and center it. And we're gonna start to smooth it out. Okay, at this point, the, the top edge is done. Now, what I found is don't just, you know, wrap both sides over. Just start with one side, increase it at the corner, and you can continue to run that down and make a nice sharp edge. And then we can go to the other side. Crease it again. And then at the last, we'll just pull and bring that over. If it gets a little crinkle on that side, it doesn't matter because uh, it's on the back side. And we'll just bring that side over and then just start massaging it and working out the air in it. Um, getting a good adhesion on it. Okay, and there we have it. So now you're going to have a little, probably a little bit left over here. Take your knife and just slowly score. both sides. It cuts really easily so you don't want to get too crazy with it. Okay, there you have it. Okay, we've got our first side done and we'll just go ahead and get that installed. Now there's a little bit of a you know, difference in the thickness. Not bad. Um, and one of the one key thing is uh, always try to use your the best side to the exterior. That's what people are going to see. So we'll just get that all everything in place. Okay, and uh, I'm using a nail a brad nailer to attach everything. So we'll make sure our reveal is the same on the top and the bottom. Okay, that's good. All right, so the as far as the nail holes go, um, what we'll use is a, uh, a putty stick for that, matching color to the oak, and it. If you have any issues like on the corners or wherever, I'll put a little putty in that and that'll just all blend in. It's just a blending putty. So got that one done and uh, we're ready for the other side. All right, everything is complete. And uh, like I said before, the, uh, the paper isn't a direct match, but it's a whole ton better than the uh, swelled up uh, paper coming off. And uh, it actually looks pretty good. I think it, uh, it'll it definitely do. And I'm uh, pretty happy with the whole uh, job itself. 
Okay, everything's complete. And uh, like I said before, uh, we'll put the link for the uh, uh, contact paper down below and also the oscillating saw that I use without having this blade on here and this saw, it would be, you would just be marking everything up and you'd be cutting every, into the next panel. So this made it so much easier and it makes such a more cleaner job. So I hope you liked the video and if you have any comments, comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching DIY on the house.